What is up bras and welcome back. Now before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I started my second channel where I will be uploading bonus videos and today I'm actually launching its premiere video with even more tricks. So head on over there after this video and check it out. Now the reason behind the second channel is simply just for extra videos. I've been wanting to do some such as a console only parkour video and things like that that are a little bit more of a niche. But for today's premiere video, it is going to be even more Discord tricks from the Bra Fam. So head on over there and check it out. Plus, it's not even monetized yet, so no ads. Anyways, Bra Fam, we got some extra nutty stuff for you today. So let's get right into the first one. Trick number one is going to be headed to Coastline, where Arson found a sneaky gap in between our beloved purple tarps and the edge of the pool. Now this gap actually looks into the middle of the pool spawn walkway right ahead level. By jumping out of VIP and running down the edge of the DJ booth, you can see right into the forehead of your next victim. Another reason this spawn peak is so good is that even if you stay outside detected for a little bit, you don't have to worry too much about it. You can see from the example that once the attacker runs out of cover from behind the pool wall, the top of the wooden cover actually completely blocks you. So after you get your pick, it will be extremely hard for them to refrag you while you're getting back inside of VIP. Next up is the crazy high spot on Chile that you can get some nutty angles onto two different spawns. I originally saw Nico up here in this spot a few months ago and I believe him to be the founder of this so huge shout out to you bro. Once you balance beam yourself across the railing you can find a vault up onto this tall plant and from here you're going to open up the wall into library as well as the window to see directly onto the helipad spawn. You can now shoot them if anyone runs up the helipad ramp or if they move south then they will be able to take 3 steps before getting decapitated. Version 2 is going to be a little bit more simple with you simply opening up the balcony window to see onto the rock formations that a lot of people vault onto at the start of the round. It's really difficult to see as of right now and it's really unexpected so make sure to get your picks before it's well known. Moving over to Canal, we have a 200 IQ mirror setup inside of the pipes room right next to the downstairs objective. By opening up the section of ceiling on the east side of the pipes door and then also above the entry door by the bathroom, you can get this nearly impossible to counter C4 up through the second floor and back down to land on anyone attempting to enter the corridor. Now this might look hard to land at first but trust me it's actually really simple because the C4 fits through the railings very easily once you learn the right spots to throw them. After you test this out in a custom game just a couple times, you'll see how it really is a piece of cake. Moving over to Clubhouse, we have one of the nuttiest parkour spots I've seen in a while. What we're going to be doing is using the prone elevation trick in between the motorcycles and then crawling over to the armored truck. While you're crawling towards the armored truck, you're going to keep your crosshairs on the bolt hole right next to the latch. While you're aiming here and crawling towards it, you're going to then press your sprint button all while spamming the vault button and you will jump right up on top of the hood. From the hood, you can then jump up on top of the rooftop of the truck and then from there on the brick wall. The best angle does seem to be aiming into the weight room window because then you can get a line of sight all the way to the back of the wall in the hall and while someone coming around this corner might be ADS on the window expecting someone to be right there in their face, they're definitely not going to expect a tiny player from the spawn standing on a gate to be where the shots are coming from.
Our next two tricks are both very tight angles but are literally some of the most unexpected lines of sight on Cafe that I've seen. The first one is coming from Arson where he figured out that you can actually go prone on the new balcony, open up the wall on pillars and then look through the mining door and out of the bottom right corner of the mining window. Now in order to get a headshot on the attacker they would need to be crouched but this is also a really strong angle for locking it down because if anybody does go into vault here they are going to be toast. The second crazy tight angle on cafe is going to be a 4-4 angle from kitchen all the way to the top of the skylight. By opening up the two areas of the floor you see me do here, you will be able to go down into the kitchen and then when you look up through the angles that you just opened, you will then see bright light coming down and that is the sky through the skylight. You can now line up the edge of the skylight and get a pixel peek onto the edge and even the corner that so many people go to. Now the defender is definitely going to have the advantage here because this angle is a lot easier to line up when you have the sky to use as a guide versus when you look down from the skylight into the kitchen things tend to blend in really really well and it's hard to make out what exactly each thing is now i'm pretty sure this is one of the only four four angles that i've ever covered before and the other one was on like hereford base like back in the day and this is definitely one of the craziest ones that i've seen in siege but i don't know if you can think of another four four angle in siege let me know the diffuser is no longer in your possession one friendly Taking a break from all of the extra complex stuff, we're headed back to the other skylight to show this easy, unexpected angle from playing Spider-Man on the upside down rappel to kill anyone rotating or at the end of the hall. Now obviously this is a risky one, so you gotta make sure the area is cleared first and you have for sure callouts that the last couple of players are on the other side. Once you have that, you can actually shoot over the reinforced walls to barely show your forehead from the top corner and gun down anyone that's in sight. Next up we have one of my favorite cams that I've learned recently. It's going to be on Oregon and if you go into the garage below the armory you can shoot out a section of the floor below the northern cases and throw a Valkyrie camera up and make it land inside of the case. Now once you have your camera here the case will do a great job at being a case and keep it protected from direct shots and even explosives. It can only be destroyed from below, but the downside is that you cannot ping. Now this really shouldn't be that big of a deal because you should be doing callouts anyways and not pinging, so that is why it is one of my current favorite Valk cams. Going over to Cafe, we're going to be using the C4 bounce trick to land a cam on the underside of the bench in the hallway. This is such a high traffic area and once you get your cam here, it is going to be unseen unless the attacker goes prone here, sees it with a drone or has IQ. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Head on over to the second channel linked down below to get even more tricks for today. I'll see you all over there. I love you all. Peace.